it's about um, the twin parallel, twin parallel universe, and twin paradox, and it's all about time travel and uh, you know different species evolving at different times, inventions being happening at different times, um, and this idea of taking historical events, jumbling them all up, so that we're creating a completely different present tense that we don't know about, that we can't really identify with. It gives you this feeling of tension, and anxiety, and crossing historical the future. Um, and I think that's what really, really has inspired me for this collection. Is that a constant theme with your collection? It or? tends to be. It tends to be about this idea of female empowerment and living many times to sort of evolve into this person who's kind of all-seeing, all-knowing, omnipotent kind of thing. Where did you learn your craft? Well, basically, my mum was a designer also, and we lived in the States for many years. You my don't mom, sound American. I know, I don't. I went to high school in the States, but I was born here in this country, and I moved when I was 17. I'm 40 now, so I lived here a long time in London. Um, my mum was a designer in Saxon Avenue, Neiman Marcus, um, and then also for Lorimar Productions, for Dallas and Dynasty programs in the 80s, which is really quite funny. Um, but I kind of grew up with it, and I trained then with Alexander McQueen and Vivian Westwood, did a fashion degree here, and, and also performance drama degree as well. Um, and I think that's it, a lot of the sort of idea of performance and drama comes out through my garments. And uh, again, it was called The Twin Parallel. And this film is called Golden Goose Dress. And this is because um, all fairy tales, all stories have this idea of narration. And it starts with a girl going to market carrying a goose. <laughs> so, or, you know, coming across a cow and a beanstalk. And the next thing you know, it's all this magical fairy tale. So, in the film, we actually had a goose. Um, it was a, a, a live goose at one point, um, and she carries the goose like she's walking to market in the film, and, and the film just turned out fabulously, and um, it's on the Vogue Italia the homepage on the website, um, if everybody wants to view it and stuff, and they've been great, they did an exclusive with us here for the show on off. Oh. Yeah. And tell us a little bit more about some of the pieces. Well, this is a kind of Napoleonic kind of French Revolution idea. Um, and it's also a jacket that was commissioned by LaRue. Uh, we did it in gold for her with the black buttons. And she wore it the entire time. Um, and it's all finished rather nice. We did a, this kind of seam detail at the back and the nipped in waist. So it kind of is very um, flattering for the female form, you know. It's um, empowering with shoulder pads as well. But, um, they're also really versatile, really versatile garment. And we take a lot of care and attention to finish the garments off beautifully. We have um, inside corsets, so it has lots of inner support. Oh, wow. And then it has the power mesh here on the sides. Um, so it gives you lots of support uh, for your bust and you feel quite secure. You don't need to wear a bra with this. Um, and this is a cute little romper suit that you can dress up with high heels and a jacket and make it evening. You could also do it in this fabric here, which is a hand-woven, bespoke silk crocodile woven in Italy um, with the insertion braid on the back of the garment, again to create nice lines for the figure, engineered seams. And this could also be in this fabric um, and vice versa. So, you know, we do most garments in all the different fabrics and all the different leathers. 
So it's quite a versatile collection, really. Yeah. So bespoke is are a lot of your pieces bespoke, or do you also have sort of a you know pret a porter line? Yeah, I mean this is this is ready to wear, but we have done a few pieces that are bespoke that are in in with this. Um, and when I was at Westwood, I did. Um, the special orders for private clients, so that was all for couture. So that's how I sort of made this, you know, as as well made and as finished as nicely as I could possibly make it. I think that's really the signature of the label is the quality of fabric and the premium finish, and that's what you're paying for, really, you know, rather than a trend. And where do you think fashion is going? I mean, a lot of people are saying that this. Um, Every six months, having to come up with a collection. Yeah. You know, what's your opinion of that? Well, is I, it stressful? Or? It is stressful. And it's, it's, in some ways, it's kind of like a hamster wheel, and you're going round and round and round, and it's never sort of get off. But in some cases, I think. Women that I identify with are very comfortable in their own skin. They're very, they're very aware of what suits them, and they don't really buy into this whole trend thing. They're buying a product that may be a little bit more expensive, but then it's beautifully finished. It's going to last for years, and they're going to wear it again and again and again. So it's more of like investment pieces, really, than buying into trends. Um, and that's really where we see our label at. It's sculptural, but it's so easy to wear, you know. Um, we do little special tricks with inner sleeves here, so you're always going to feel you're dressed up and you, you know, you're looking confident. And I think that's what women want, really, you know. I do feel empowered. And then this skirt here is um, an A-line. Again, if you feel you're a little big on the hip, which most women do, if they've had children, then this is the perfect shape skirt. So would you say that your silhouette is suited towards uh, you know a pear shape or a line yeah, type yeah, of body? Yeah, is absolutely. That a really good yeah, absolutely. Yeah, them? yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's we have a jumpsuit which obviously wouldn't be for everyone, um, and really, you know, women that are size eight to ten would wear it, or size six. Um, but then we also do garments that are very much skimming over the thigh and the hip, so you can feel that it's all about the bust and womanly shapes and curves. And so definitely, that would fit a size 12 to 14 would fit a lot of these pieces. And what is your opinion of this idea of, uh, you know, catwalks are using such skinny young models? Is your you know, woman, you know, a skinny young model? Not at all. We had such trouble finding models that had enough bust and enough hip. They would be sending us girls that the garments would just be hanging on. And this is a size 6 to 8. So we would, we would request girls that had, you know, a larger chest, at least a 36 hip, you know. Um, so they would fill the garment and they'd be, it's more sexy, it's more, they, they move in the garment nicely. It's, it's, I think men respond to it better and they feel more confident as well. And what did you learn? I'm very curious, what did you learn from Vivian Westwood? Is there some gem that remains with you when you remember from your time? Yeah, I think, well, I think it's more about determination and never kind of accepting no. And um, 
you know, if someone says no to you, then you just think, well, maybe no just means just not now, as opposed to no forever. Do you know what I mean? And just being determined and and um, and also empowered and to feel, because she she owns her own company still, and there's not very many labels that still at her age, um, at her length of time that her brand's been going, that still owns her own company. A lot of them sell out to big groups like Elton Page or Gucci Group. She still owns her own company. I think just to believe and feel confident in what your decisions are, I think that's really important. Yeah.